Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Budget Cuts Ultimate Overview. I essentially had to go back like four years into the past and see my original overview on the sequel that released on the Rift version because I remember I was impressed by the game and I wanted to play more but I, I don't remember why it didn't happen. So I went back and apparently I was still using like a charging cable to play things on the link because <laughs> I was waiting for this official one, you know, the long one that I don't use anymore. And also one of the gripes for me was that the game was purely teleport mode only, which now I think it might cause some problems regardless of the concept because I just like to be comfortable and moving around. So we'll see how it's gonna go. <laughs> so Budget Cuts Ultimate is essentially a merge of two games for the series combined with each other to create like a seamless adventure where you're located in Transcorp and trying to figure out what's going on in the actual company. The idea by itself is great because I always thought this game or games should be on quest immediately. If it's teleport mode only or not, it's just that it benefits a lot from having no cables around you and just having that freedom of movement without any restrictions. The gameplay itself is kinda portally bon labi, like you use some specific mechanics with the portals and teleportation to not only move but fight, throw stuff and solve puzzles, like it's kind of trippy and initially hard to get used to because we don't really see that often it now Days. But also thinking now that I did an overview on the sequel, I think we're just gonna start from the prequel first, considering that's how the series started, so I guess I'm just gonna experience the beginning of it all, so it's kind of like a fresh experience all over. The graphics look clean, even though it's a rental from PC, I know it's kinda similar gonna be looking in the quest, cause it's this job simulator-ish thing, there are no jagged or rough edges around stuff. I think regardless, it's a good deal anyways to get two games at the same time. It's like a hidden bundle of some sorts though. If the devs manage to merge it all together to make most people that are not familiar with the series don't even notice anything, that should be good enough. So let's cut some shit up. I'll just throw you in I suppose. What? I'm doing that. Hello? Okay, so... How am I struggling with the first seconds of the game? Is it because I changed to smooth locomotion? Like... And now it continued. <laughs> oh my god, you know. Yeah, that's what I remember from the sequel. Also, I remember I could do, I think, this? Or was it a different game? <laughs> but we can also move, okay. Now that makes more sense. There's some pulling. We can see what's inside. It's like a Dr. Gadget. <laughs> Pet faint. I guess there's no like direct grabbing, unless it was in the settings here. I wonder how it's gonna change with the gameplay. Though it's more immersive to be just close by. We'll see what stuff does. <laughs> 
But I didn't know it's gonna start like that. I guess it's a tutorial area. Hello. <laughs> I can hear you, Kate. I'm just choosing not to respond. Go, oh, okay then. Sure. Fine. I guess you don't want to know about where all our colleagues have been disappearing to. Wait, okay, yes, I do want to know. You have my undivided attention. So a bit quiet. Well, I heard from Tracy and Accounting that all the humans in her department have been reported to HR. They're human. Of course they're in violation of HR. That's where the phrase comes from. Human nature. Did you even listen in our orientation? Yes. But what you don't know is, is that they never come back. What? Are you sure? Positive. They have a meeting with HR and then, poof, never seen again. That is worrying. I, I, I do hope they're all right. So what do we do? I love work. I can stare at it all day. Hello, human coworker. This pager was mailed to you. Enjoy. Winter, and look, we can do the cute introductions later, but you're in terrible danger. People keep disappearing around here, and I hate to tell you, but they're coming for you next. Now, I'm gonna help you get out of here, but we have to move quickly. See that locked briefcase? Yeah, I hid the key for it on your desk. I'll fax you where to find it. Inside is the translocator. It's a special travel device that you can use to get out of the building as fast as you can. Grab the pager before you go and put it in your inventory. I'll ping you once you're clear. Now stay low and hurry. You can make it, but you have to go now. Wait, where's the key? From what game this was mechanic to teleport yourself while you're like going into it? Howdy employees, I'm Rex Crane the Third, your boss and founder of Transcore. I love to see new faces. As more faces means my company is making more money. <laughs> Only joking. Welcome aboard, friends. You love working for Transcore. After all, we are the future. Okay, I mean it kind of looks like the game from the past though So far it's fine Can we just, I don't know, <laughs> jump? <laughs> Do I reload or something like Oh, wait, am I supposed to go there though? Well, I guess. How far can I go? Seems safe. Oh, what the? Don't mind me. Who is this handsome devil with the dulcet tones reaching out to me over the tannoy? I hear you wander. Well, I'm Rex Crane the Third, and there's plenty of ways to describe me. 
and national business playboy superstar philanthropist genius. And so modest, too. <laughs> Don't believe me? Read the cover story of this month's Entrepreneur About Town. Freak Up is available in the lobby. Something special here. All right, you made it. The quickest way to the exit is via the acquisitions department, but there are robots of the unfriendly kind ahead. Transcorp insists on using military-grade assault robots for supervisor duties. So efficient. Not. Oh, you'll need an access card. I think the manager on this floor might have one. Grab it and head to acquisitions. Good luck. Get to acquisitions and I need to watch out for them. your brand new supervisor colleagues of late. They have a difficult enough job keeping everyone focused on the task at hand. So don't let their methods concern you. No, really. Don't let their methods concern you. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Oh shit. Hmm. Maybe the teleportation doesn't work like when I turn or something because it's not consistent. See, like. Maybe I just need to look straight up. No. Abu? Stupid worker who left her key card in a plain sight in yellow section. I mean, it's a cool mechanic overall, you know. Colleagues, I've received a few notes about your supervisors of late. Please remember, any complaints will be noted with Adam, our head of HR, who is always very keen to know exactly who you are in explicit detail. I can escape very easily from them though. But I still need to watch out. Oh nice that crouching works, okay. Damn it! <laughs> if it bounces off, then I'm screwed. Oof. Can be intense as well. Okay, nice. I'm sweating profusely nowadays. I need to watch every single step. What's my objective?
Wait, am I supposed to be here? Really? Like, is there a button for couching? Okay. Cancel. I have no idea where I'm going. So, there's a package of, uh, letter openers waiting for you in the distributions department. They're shiny, sharp, and stabby letter openers that will definitely help you to escape. Let's just say that a manifest that said, safe, totally harmless letter openers, and another manifest that said, sharp, pointy knives, magically got switched around. <laughs> Go, quickly! <laughs> okay. I mean, it's very calm, reserved experience overall, but I'm sure it's gonna get intense with time. Distributions. Oh, hi. Can you keep it down? Some of us are trying to look busy. <laughs> I think he's coming back. At least I hear him. Protecting restricted area. <laughs> Hello, staff. It's another glorious day in the distributions department. To push the envelope of technological possibility, and I suppose that's why you work in the mail room. <laughs> Hi. So the good folk of distributions have already distributed the knives. <clears throat> I mean, the letter openers to all the office supply rooms. Grab some on your way through to the cybernetics department. I know it seems a bit ominous, but it's the quickest path to the exit. 
Good luck. <laughs> what the? All right, well, that's all the time I have it for today. It's pretty cute for what it is. Like, I don't remember. I am very busy with my tasks. Can we be friends? New, no, you have a Roomba. I don't see why I had a gripe with the sequel. Maybe it was just a different time and different personal experience. But this is pretty cute, like a stealthy job simulator-ish. Yeah, there is like a lot of genres going on, but for something that released back in the day, assuming this is the prequel, yeah, for sure, because the sequel started differently. It's like nice, well paced. There's not much stuff going on for now, but it's gonna get its momentum going. We have some knives. And I guess this is our weaponry. But how's the throwing mechanics? Actually, I can just fastly test it out. <laughs> Where is he? Well, that worked perfectly. <laughs> and diversion. <laughs> like, there is multiple ways of playing this game and that's pretty much the magic of it. I need this knife. Where is it? No, I lost it. But overall, uh, we'll see if we'll continue this. I'm very busy nowadays, but it seems something worth investing into, so we'll see. <laughs>